So I watched Steve Jobs and it was good. This film tells the story of Apple co-founder and CEO Steve Jobs and it tells it in a very different way. It takes place about 40 minutes before three of the biggest press conferences of Steve Jobs life. It's pretty amazing how much they cram into these 40 minute sections of the film that take place into the press conferences and then we get like a little montage building us up to the next press conference. It was a very good way of telling the story which is a massive massive story. Apparently the script is like 190 pages long which is crazy and with that script all of the actors did a great job. I love Michael Fassbender and pretty much everything he's in and while I felt like he still did great in this film for the most part I kind of just felt like I was watching Michael Fassbender. I never really felt like I was watching Steve Jobs. I will say if you're going into this film as a big Danny Boyle fan you might be a little bit disappointed. To me it definitely felt more like an Aaron Sorkin written film. If you've ever watched and enjoyed a film that he's wrote you're probably more likely going to have a good time with this film than if you've watched Danny Boyle films and loved them. If you like them both, then great, it's probably going to be a really good time for you. Like I said, I thought this film was good, but I'm probably never going to watch it again, so I'm going to give Steve Jobs three stars. Thank you for watching, and subscribe for more.